decided today just to do like a really chill video. Um, I've been planning in my mind to make these brownies from pickup lines. If you don't know that food blog slash YouTube channel, I'm gonna link it in the description box. So anyways, I was drooling over this brownie recipe that looked super easy to make. And um, as soon as I realized that when I'll be in Alexandria, Egypt, I will probably be able to make them because there'll be an oven in our Airbnb. And also there'll be a huge supermarket and I'll be able to find things like um, good quality medjool dates, cacao powder, dark chocolate, these kinds of things. Yesterday we arrived to Alexandria and the first thing I did was go and get the ingredients for these brownies. So yeah, here are the ingredients. Okay, so I have some dates. The, these medjool dates, I paid more for them than if I had picked other dates, but I thought, you know, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it right. And then this is about half a bar of dark chocolate. Of course, it's dairy free because I want them to be vegan. Uh, this is 50 grams. She had pecans in her recipe, but I just got peanuts because it's much, much cheaper. And I think peanuts in brownies are really good. And then some cacao powder. So just some normal cacao powder and coconut oil. And finally some salt. All right, and since I don't have a food processor, I'm really happy that she suggests if you don't have a food processor to just soften up the dates in some warm water for about 10 minutes and then you can just mash them up by hand. And as she said, it's like more manual labor, but it'll render the same results. So yeah, I'm, I'm, pre I'm prepared to do that to get some brownies. So I just coarsely chopped these peanuts. Now I'm chopping up some dark chocolate. All right, so I just drained the water out of the dates, capped about a tablespoon of the water that was there. Now I'm gonna mash them up as much as I can. Okay, so I added the coconut oil. It was already melted. <laughs> thanks to the hot weather here. Mixed it all in. Now I'm gonna add some of the salt. Okay, folded in the peanuts. So now I'm gonna add the cocoa powder. Okay, so I am done mixing. It looks great. I'm um, just gonna try to improvise something now because I don't have like an actual mold or baking dish. I'm just gonna try to mold it by hand and place it as best as I can in a corner. I just spent like seven minutes placing this perfectly and just realized that I didn't line it with parchment paper or anything. <laughs> <laughs> so now I have to remove everything, start all over, clean it put a parchment paper and then start again. Yeah. Otherwise it'll just stick and it won't be a good result and I'll have wasted all these ingredients in my time and effort and all the excitement that's been building up. All right, take two. Just finished a few minutes later. So into the oven it goes for about 10 minutes. Okay, so it, it's been a little while. They baked for 10 minutes and then I let them cool completely I kind of improvised a chocolate ganache, just, you know, from what I know. Um, I'll write a quick recipe in the description box if you want to make it. And now I'm just going to pop this into the fridge so that it can just solidify. And we'll see how it tastes. All right, so it's dark outside. The lighting is not so nice, but they're out of the fridge. This is how they look. They are very thin, but you can see here the peanuts, the, the chocolate chunks and the little chocolate ganache that I made on top. And yeah, let's taste it. We're going to taste the brownies. Okay, I think he's enjoying it. <laughs> oh my God. Look at the fudginess. Oh my God. So yeah, I can't believe I I mashed the dates by hand. I did everything by hand. I mixed everything by hand. Usually, you know, you put this in a food processor. I did everything by hand. These yeah. are super good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my God, the peanuts are really good. I love peanuts. The dark chocolate inside. And don't forget the special ingredient. 
love that is. I did put a lot of love in there. Love, love. I did that. I hope you enjoyed this casual little video. I honestly, I, I, I honestly don't even know what this was. Hmm. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this little video. <laughs> He's full. Tell me down below if you enjoy brownies just as we do. I think it's one of our favorite like sweets. All right, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, comment down below, and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Tell me what is your favorite dessert, or if you're not even like a big dessert person. See you in the next video. Subscribe Bye. now. And, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.